Hello everyone, welcome to all you European Tech Global. My name is Manish Singh and in this week I am again, uh, I am going to rep uh, show you some academic global positions in mechanical engineering. So let's see one by one. So first opportunity that is for PhD program in University of Exeter, England and the proposed research area for this uh, program is that is physical testing and numerical modeling for submarine power cables. Correct and this is a very core topic for those students who are from either mechanical engineering correct and especially reliability engineering and if you know FEA that is finite element analysis modeling then this is very nice opportunity for you guys correct and the course duration for this program that you can see here this is 3.5 year and this is uh, last date for the application of this program is that is 24th July 2023 and this is fully funded program and if I talk about some prerequisite requirement for this program, then you can see here the application for this studentship must have obtained or about obtained engineering in the relevant research area with minimum 8 CGPA. So if you have a BTEC degree or you have completed your graduation with 8.0 CGPA or more than 8.0 CGPA, then you are eligible for this program. And along with this for English proficiency, you must have valid IELTS score of 6.0 correct so this is prerequisites for this program and now you can see another opportunity again for PhD program you can see and uh, the university name is Sunsi University UK and the proposed research area for this uh, program is that is the multi material arbitrary Lagra Lagrangian and Eulerian uh, scheme for uh, for shock hydrodynamics correct so again this is very core relevant topic for mechanical engineering students and uh, the duration of this program is 3.5 year and the last date for the application of this program is you can see here that is 24 July 2023 and if I now again if I talk about some prerequisites requirement for this program then you can see here the candidate must have normally hold an undergraduate degree with minimum 8 CGPA in engineering or a similar relevant science discipline means those students who are interested for phd pursue phd after just btech then this is very good opportunity for you and especially if you are if you are interested to work on hydrodynamics field correct then this is very nice opportunity and along with this uh, for english proficiency you must have ielts score 6.2 overall and if i talk about individual score then this is 5.5 correct so this is the prerequisites requirement for this program correct so next opportunity you can see here that is again for uh, phd program and the university name is that is the university of southampton uk and the proposed research area is soft robotic buckling pulse jet propulsion so again you can see here this is very very nice opportunity for mechanical engineering students who have done uh, BTEC as well as MTech program and especially who are interested in robotic who are interested to work on robotics correct then this is very nice opportunity and again that if I talk about duration of this program then you can see a 3.5 year then last date for the application of this program is 16th September 2023 and uh, this is fully funded program and if I talk about prerequisites requirement of this program then you can see here the candidate must have undergraduate degree in engineering with at least 8 CGPA. So those students who have bachelor degree more than 8 CGPA or 8 CGPA and along with for English proficiency if you have C1 level of uh, skills that this is desired and one more thing that is the desired qualification is master degree correct. So if you have master degree along with the BTEC and English proficiency you must have master degree then this is very good for you correct and especially those students who have done mtech in mechatronics and robotics correct so this is a core topic for uh, those students who are from mechatronics or robotics field correct so this is very nice opportunity for pursuing phd program correct and after that you can see here another phd program that is the university name is uh, uh, luxembourg Un university london and uh, the proposed such area 3d printing next generation of uh, batteries aluminium based solid state electrolyte for electric vehicles so again this is very very core topic and even for this uh, those students who are from mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or chemical engineering the, all all students are uh, eligible for this program and this is a very very new topic and very hot topic for a recent uh, industrial point of view correct so if you are interested for pursue your phd program then again this is very nice opportunity for you guys correct 
and uh, you can see here the duration of this program is 3.5 year and the last date for the application of this program is 14 July 2023 and uh, if I talk about the scholarship then this is fully funded program and if I talk about prerequisites requirement of this program then you can see here applicants should have qualified with or except to obtain a bachelor degree in material science, mechanical engineering, polymers, chemical engineering with a good understanding of additive manufacturing additive manufacturing is uh, one of the hot topic although this is very old topic this is not a new topic correct this is a old topic so this is uh, extensive research is going on this topic along with this the electrical vehicle this is also a very uh, very new and interesting topic on which a huge amount of research is already going on correct so if you have a btech degree in mechanical engineering, material science, polymer science, chemical engineering, then this is very nice opportunity for you guys. And along with this, you can see here, particular, uh, if you know the concept of stereolithography or wet photopolymerization process. And if you want to learn something about this, then you can also watch my one lecture, which is already recorded on additive manufacturing, correct? So you can watch that lecture and you can clearly understand what is wet polymerization or stereolithography, correct? and uh, along with 7.5 CGPA, correct? And the relevant master degree and equivalent particular experience will be advantageous, correct? So if you have experience on these topics, means you work on additive manufacturing or you work on uh, elect electric vehicle, then this is advantageous for this program, correct? So, and uh, excellent academics, writing skill, research design skill, and obviously those students who have zeal for the research, then this is very nice opportunity for you, correct? And you must uh, you, you must have uh, excellent uh, academic writing skills means uh, how to write a research paper and how to write report, correct? And research design skills, material testing, characterization capabilities and good understanding of ceramic solid state batteries are desirable. So these things are, these things, this, this is very, 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 very impo important and interesting to, uh, things. So before applying, you must, before applying, you must understand this topic, this thing, correct? This is very desirable things, correct? And if you have relevant experience with respect to this, then this is very good opportunity for you guys, correct? Okay, so let's see another opportunity again for PhD. That is the university name is Southampton. University of Southampton, correct? And the proposed research area for this topic is machine learning model for uh, subgrid scale in turbulent reacting flow, correct? And the duration of this program is 3.5 years. Then last year for the application of this program is 1st August 2023. And again, this is fully funded program. And now if I talk about prerequisites requirement for this program, then you can see here, again, you can see here a very good under, uh, undergraduate degree with minimum 8 CGPA. If you have B.Tech degree with 8 CGPA or in mechanical engineering, then this is very nice opportunity for you guys, correct? So this is uh, all about all the opportunities for this week. And uh, so if you, if you have any doubt or if you want any help from your PTA global team, then definitely you can ask and you can call us. And in this uh, video already in the description, the all the details are given correct and even if you want to if you want help from us in, for making sops or for uh, in the application correct so in any stage if you want any help then you just contact us correct definitely your PTA global team definitely help you guys correct so this is all about uh, opportunities for this week okay thanks for watching and good day to all of you guys and we'll meet in the next week